Now, we do have the latest on the coronavirus, and while some countries are starting to ease their restrictions, the head of the World Health Organization is now warning that the worst is yet to come. He says that just because many leaders are starting to ease their restrictions, that doesn't mean we're close to the end of this pandemic. The director, uh, the general of the World Health Organization, says there's just too much we still don't know about COVID-19. It's a virus that many people still don't understand. Many countries were very developed, putting the wrong conclusions because they didn't know it and got into trouble. Now, the director general did not specify why he believes the outbreak could get worse. The big question still remains, when should businesses start to reopen across the country, including here in Indiana? Governor Holcomb says the stay-at-home order will stay in place at least until early May. Matt's live for us this morning with where the governor is talking about making some changes. Good morning. Julia, good morning to you. There is some cautious optimism here at the State House about the month of May. And as you mentioned, that state home order is now in effect until the end of April, as we're learning now, the very first day of May is when that could be lifted. That's the latest guidance here from the State House. More information on your screen shows that in addition to that, we're seeing some of those orders in place lifted. That includes certain medical procedures and office visits can be allowed to resume. We're also getting some clarity now on essential businesses. That means that home and garden centers and nurseries, for example, would be allowed to be open as long as people inside practice social distancing. We're also learning that pet groomers would be allowed to open either in their office locations or on mobile locations as well. So those are just some of the clarifications we learned here yesterday. Of course, we're following what happens here in the day ahead and especially tomorrow when a task force recommendation is due to the governor about the best way to further reopen the rest of the state. But again, Julia, with that information about pet groomers being able to open, that is no doubt some good news for you, Dex, and Ramey. <laughs> yes, certainly is. All right. Thanks so much. Well, new details are coming out about a potential COVID-19 outbreak at the Tyson Foods plant in Logansport. Our news gathering partners at the Pharaoh's Tribune report a union steward at the plant says at least 15 workers have tested positive. Now, Tyson canceled production at the plant yesterday to deep clean and sanitize the entire building. The plant does have safety measures in place, including infrared walkthrough scanners that check an employee's temperature as they walk in. The plant also requires workers to wear masks and keep six feet apart. And we're hearing more and more these days about local people who are recovering from coronavirus. Kevin Byron is a Brownsburg firefighter whose lungs, kidneys, and heart were all failing him after getting the virus. A ventilator kept Byron breathing for about two weeks, and now he's conscious and breathing on his own. Byron expects to be released from the hospital, but still faces weeks of rehab ahead. Uh, the virus continues to have an impact on the world markets as well, including oil prices. Oil futures have actually fallen to minus $37, which is the lowest price in history. This essentially means that oil producers would be paying buyers to take the oil off their hands. And here in Indy today, boxes of food are being shipped from Lucas Oil Stadium to all over our state. Friday, the National Guard and volunteers packed thousands of food boxes for families in need. And during this pandemic, there has been a record number of people filing for unemployment. Some Hoosiers are having trouble paying their rent and are now facing evictions. Meredith joins us now live to talk about one man's story and how people are actually reaching out to help. Good morning, Meredith. Right. So this is actually an army veteran. We're hearing from a ton of people on social media, more than 600 people reacting to the post, more than 200 people commenting. We want to give you a little bit more context. So TJ Shuck is a Hoosier. He works at Applebee's. He usually works 35 to 40 hours a week, but his hours have been cut because it's a restaurant. And those restaurants, of course, are not open right now. And so he says he hasn't been able to collect as much money as he normally would to pay the rent. He owes $440, but he received a photo of eviction papers from his landlord that said, time's up, we needed that $440. But there is a statewide order right now from Governor Eric Hol Holcomb that puts a temporary prohibition on evictions. That's because so many Hoosiers right now are out of work. This through May 5th, it's to prevent tenants like Shuck, who normally could pay their rent, from getting evicted in a time like this. 
So this is what we're hearing from you guys on Facebook. Amanda saying nobody should have to worry about rent payments right now unless you are working, but it is totally wrong to kick anyone out at this time. And Tracy saying, I'm a landlord and it hurts. My renter has not paid a dime on their April rent and I still have bills on the house and taxes are due next month. Who's going to help me with that? It's a tough conversation. Obviously, we feel for anyone who's struggling financially. We want to hear from you. What do you think? Tweet at us using the hashtag 13sunrise, or you can go comment on that post. Julia? All right. Yeah, tough time for so many people right now. Thank you, Meredith. Appreciate that.